Tonight's dinner is a special treat. We're having tuna. Right there, behind me. Hello. <laughs> You'll be famous. Superstar. You're being served. Miso. <laughs> That's a strange texture. Ma. Mm. Oh, Chicken salad. Oh, Chicken salad. Oh, <laughs> what is this? That's not tuna, is it? What's inside? You know? That's apparently under the eye. What is that? Well, that's a cheek. It's gonna be a silent dinner. I'm going straight for the eye muscle. Tuna served frozen is a bit different from what I'm used to eating. I always assumed that it was supposed to be fresh. Let it thaw out a little bit. This dinner was spent completely in silence on my part, for the most part, and now it's time to go. The food was good, the company interesting, I'm not sure if this is gonna make a cut or not. Maybe. Where do you know you go? Waba? I guess we're going for drinks.
Time to go home. Restaurants are closed. <laughs> I'm tired and it's dark in here. Why is it so dark in here? I realized that this ending will appear to be very anticlimactic, but in a rush to get home, I completely forgot to add an ending to the video last time. I think this time is just as good as any to provide you with an ending for this video. It's a weekend. We're sitting at home, it's a rainy weekend. It is a Sunday. It is lunchtime. Yeah, Mali and Liam wanted to have some ramen and I agreed because it's a very quick and easy way to fill our bellies. It's not the healthiest, but we did have a healthy breakfast with uh, all the right side dishes and uh, seaweed and whatever else, so this will do the trick for now. So, just heading down to the store get us some dried noodles, boil them up and shove them into our faces. We need to find a store with noodles. What do you eat for lunch? Do you want to make a healthy lunch for your kids and yourself? What is the choice that you go for? I'd love to know. Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what your healthy choice of lunch would be in a tight squeeze situation like this one. Last minute purchase. There's a 24-hour e-mart, a small kind of convenience store. Uh, I think they might have ramen. I could probably swing by in there and have a look. Let's do that. These guys really need to get a roof here. Do they have any ramen? They've got, I think... Oh, they got a nice whole stack of wines. Chigang was looking for wines yesterday. I guess she picked one up here. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Package that I mean. Look at the plethora of selections. Hot and spicy and buttered and whatever else you can find. What is the healthiest out of the unhealthiest? Some uber spicy one. Usually by this, this is without the spice in it. So maybe this is, this is without the spice in it, so maybe that's the one. This looks enticing. Is that two bucks for the whole package? There's five of them inside, so that can be good. It's too ridiculous cheap. We usually get this one, so let's go with this one. Yeah, see you. Thank you, see you. Get our noodles. I know I wanted to add something else, but I can't, for the love of me, think of what it was. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd get for your lunch on a tight squeeze. Uh, if you want to make it healthy. And uh, that's it for today. I will see you on Monday in our Hagwon Startup podcast. David will be back. We'll be. Uh, um, running down through the list of steps needed to take anybody needs to take in order to open up a Hagwon business in South Korea and as we said before it's gonna overlap with uh, the ideas that you need to with the steps that you need to follow in order to open up Gombu Bang as well so we'll be uh, first we'll cover the steps anyone needs to follow in order to open up one and then I'll answer we'll, we'll be answering some questions that were posted in a comment by a uh, subscriber in that order thank you for watching as always and I'll see you in the Monday podcast enjoy the rainy Sunday oh I just remembered what I wanted to say I wanted to make a commentary on the dinner that evening it's not unusual for for us to meet these particular friends and for me to be quite silent because obviously the conversation is in Korean and I don't understand a lot of it so on that particular evening um, I think I was just focused on the food and conversation was flowing we haven't met each other in a very long time so that's probably why it was added to the silence but it's a very good reason for why anybody should be learning a language in a foreign country because you lack 
the social skills uh, for communication, for proper communication. Lessons to be learned. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on Monday. Enjoy the rest of your rainy Sunday.